Hello everyone, assalamu alaikum. Well, here I have this uh, users collection. So we get all the users from the database and then we save it in a variable. Now, this variable is like a list, so we go through it in a for loop. Now, we want to save this variable, the user's information, all the list in a list so that we would be able to access later in our UI. Now, how to do that? Well, the first thing I could do over here, I have this class over here, and inside this, we can declare a variable. The variable type would be Rx list. Now, as you can see over here, first I have the variable type. Well, the data it should take, that's a user model, user data type. So this is a user model. We know a basic user model where we have username, ID, URL, and from JSON method and uh, to JSON method like that. So this is the basic data model. Now, so as you can see from this, this means that this type is, this is a list. And then we had tagged over here OBS, which makes it observable. So observable means that this list, if changes, an item is removed or added or edited. Flutter framework would know about it and let the UI update its status, things like that, or redraw the UI. And at the same time, over here, we do see that we also have Rx list. Now, if your list is observable, then you can also tag in front of the data type Rx list. So Rx also means observable. So this is an observable list and the list type is user data model and just we created the variable contact list. So with this, we'll have a list which is observable, but of course at the beginning, the list is empty. So whenever you see Rx or Rx list, you have to know that that is an observable list, changeable, editable list where the UI would know about it and retrigger the UI. Now, from our controller over here, as I said early, that we want to save it somewhere, this uh, user list. So, we, because we have already declared an Rx list, so we can just simply find this list from here so to access that actually we created a variable which is called state now contact state is this class so we created an object and using this state object we'll be able to access it so here we do state contact list dot add and doc dot data and that's all and that's as simple as this. So we have the list and we added whatever the data we get from Firebase, we added in our observable Rx list. Thank you.